Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 159. You guys know the rules, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Your Majesty. <gasps> the baby. Please. Oh, the baby is hollering. She must be in a lot of pain. <gasps> Protect the princess. Her Majesty threw her highness. <gasps> she threw the baby. Uh, I, I will. I will get the physician. Oh my gosh! A baby is wailing. I'm not a mom, not yet, at least. But I will. My heart will just break if I hear a baby cry. My baby cry. Like you know. <sighs> D don't believe a word she says, your majesty. I wasn't the one who threw the baby. She says she wasn't the one who threw the baby? Is she gonna blame the maid? The bird is terrified of her. It just screeched. Oh my god, the bird. Leave. Your Majesty, I... I said, leave. The bird is making a lot of noise. Oh my gosh, the baby is crying and the bird is freaking out. Like, that's overwhelming in that room right now. Oh my gosh. Huh. As you wish. But please think about it. I would never hurt the child. That woman is not related to the child at all. Well, I'm the mother. Her Highness. I knew she was malicious from the moment she ripped the feathers off the bird to not to implicate Navier. But to throw her own child? Simply because of her distaste for her lady in waiting? How is the child? Is she unharmed? Her Highness is quite shaken, but thankfully she suffered no harm. <sighs> she could have broken her neck. What a fool she is. She could have lived a life of luxury as a former empress if she had just behaved herself. But she has show, sown the seeds of her own downfall. I believe you mentioned you know how to take care of children. That's right, Your Majesty. I didn't have the means to hire a nanny, so I raised my son myself. I'm setting up a room next to mine for my daughter. I want you to stay there and protect her. But Hardin? Does that mean he wants me to be the child's nanny? Thank, thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. I plan to be sympathetic to her situation and remove her after a year. But then she did this. A peaceful divorce is out of the question now, Rashta. Oh my gosh. Now this is right there. Like here's the climax. It's right there. Because not Rasha is going to lose it. She's going to go crazy. She's going to harm someone. But she's losing her power as an empress. So. Oh. The Remarried Empress. Episode 159. She's breaking stuff. Mommy didn't do it on purpose. I really did it. My daughter. She's my daughter. Mine. This is not the time to be sitting here crying, girl. This is all your fault. You bastard. <gasps> she, did she just hit him? 
You deserve to have your tongue cut off and fed to the devil. It's your fault that I can't hold my own child. <laughs> you did this. If that bastard hadn't made me hold my dead baby, then this time I could have sung my child a lullaby and whispered that I was glad to meet her. <laughs> Master, die as a die! Stop it! Just stop! Your father came to me, huh? My father? You mean Viscount Ishka? Why are you pretending in front of me? I'm not talking about your fake father. I mean your real one. She? He knows of her real father? Oh. <gasps> My real father? Why was he there? Take a wild guess. He suddenly came to my house, showed me your portrait, then commented that you had achieved great success. Then you should have chased him away. What are you doing here? I met him on my way out. I need to leave quickly to go to Parme. Parm? Parme? To go to Parm. Hold on, guys. How do you say that word? Parm? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. De Parm. Parm. Parm? Why are you going there? The spring water bandits were very active there a while back. So that's obviously the first place I should look to find our your adopted parent's daughter. I need a lot more funds to find her as I don't have any useful leads and I'm also looking for Labetti. I require money for traveling. You won't be able to contact me for a while, so don't look for me even if you have an emergency. <gasps> she beat the crap out of him. Look how, how bruised up his face and scuffed up his face is. <gasps> I hate people. They're so mean. Oh dear. How about you ask His Majesty for help? <laughs> his Majesty only has eyes for our child these days. Now I have no one to turn to except for you. My father will surely ask me for money in exchange for his silence. What should I do? <laughs> I don't have that much money. Huh? His smirk scares me. You know, like, he may be a side character, but... He plays a major role in Rush's downfall as far as we know. And that evil smirk is just... <sighs> Will this be enough? <gasps> 10,000 grants? But I, I can't possibly. You're too generous. <laughs> you accepted such an amount before. What's another check? Thank you. Uh, I'll try my best to get you the port you asked for. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire, we decided to keep the pregnancy a secret for the time being. Henry wanted to make an official announcement right away, but my position as Empress wasn't stable yet. So we decided to use the rumors about my infertility to see who was hostile towards me. We made an exception for one person, we told McKenna, who was to take over some of my work. Huh? Pardon? The, the baby, I mean, oops. Well, I guess there's no alternative. You have me sleeping for only two hours a day, though. I won't give you that much work, McKenna. Why are you being so dramatic? You did the same amount before. I won't be able to set up a baby room since you're keeping it a secret, but making a nest should be fine, right? Did you say a nest? 
<laughs> Don't worry, Your Majesty. I'll make the nest myself to the baby birds can be safe. Baby bird? Does that mean... <gasps> I'm going to lay an egg? See? See? Okay. Last episode, I was like, is she going to have a baby baby in her belly? Or is she going to have an egg that she has to rotate every, you know, couple of hours? Because, you know, if you guys ever incubate an egg... Yeah, uh, you need to rotate them so they evenly are, you know, warm and toasting and, you know, cooking up in the oven. Um, unless you buy those automatic thing that rotates the eggs for, uh, for you. But I was like, yeah, exactly. Is she really going to have a, is she really laying an egg or is she really going to be carrying the baby, you know? So I can't wait for that part. Next part, like the first beginning right here, like it was, we found out the maid told Sylvester that Rasha tossed the baby and I was surprised that you know R Rasha came in right she was like I didn't do it you know she, I guess she she was trying to say oh like what that she that the maid did it or like the maid hate her or something like that I don't know where it was was it right here oh I wasn't the one who threw the baby if it wasn't her, then who, you know? But she, I guess she did not say the maid did it. But I think she wanted to, but the bird freaked out and cut her off. And that's just insane, you know? Like, imagine everyone in that room with Sylvester and Rashta to witness that altercation, right? Not only is a baby got tossed and wailing and crying and is in pain, the bird freaked out. The bird's not in pain. No one's hurting the bird right now. People healed him. So Veshu healed this bird. But the fact that she, this bird remember Rasha's face, he, this bird freaked out. So that it's just not a good look to be all the people in that room. They're going to be like, Rasha's a bad person, you know? Okay, guys. Looks like So is about to find a way to get rid of Rasha immediately. <sighs> I don't know what... Rasha's borrowing that money for. I guess she's going to give it to her former slave owner. And I can't. So she does have a father. Does she have a mom? I'm kind of curious on how her parents look like, you know. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. I can't wait to read them. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.